back today. We're at Oh, that sucks. Well, we have some audio issues from the Sportsman Show, but I'm gonna make it up. We're gonna do that recap and we're gonna do some unboxings today. I got some new reels from Shimano and some new apparel from AFCO for this year. So you know what? Let's get into it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Yeah, this video was supposed to be a little bit different. You're supposed to be watching me at the show, walking you guys through the entire area, some of the cool things there, and obviously showcase the kayak a little bit more, but uh, you know, technical difficulties. So initially this video was supposed to start Thursday morning, the second day of the show. I was there early to do a TV interview with a local news station, and I had some time beforehand, so I was going to walk you guys through the entire place, and I think I can still do a little bit of a voiceover about some of the things that was there. This year it was called the Kayak Fishing Pavilion. We had Old Town, Eureka, Jetboy in one booth, NRS had their own booth, some rafts, and everything at the show was sold through Next Adventure. So big old banner, we had deals, blowouts, closeouts, all those type of things. I mean, there's a little bit of everything. And the Kayak Fishing Lake, we had seminars each day from local kayakers, talk about techniques from a kayak. I had one on Wednesday, which was reaction baits for largemouth. Then as we moved down, obviously a bunch more and then Saturday I had one which was river fishing for smallmouth bass. In the pond we had a PA-14, 360, a native time X, and an old town big water. And over here, Big Adventures booth, native and bona fide, and a an X and a P127, 360 XR, and then my kayak next to it with a few others. We also had an iTrek, compass, outback, passport and just a random canoe in the corner. Over here we had Confluence, which was Pelican, Perception, and Wilderness Systems, and down the line is New Canoe. They brought some rigged out kayaks, and that was super cool to see as well. So as you can see, we had a lot there. Everything was under Next Adventure at that kayak fishing pavilion. We had a bunch of vendors there, it was super cool. We had a great time. So shortly after that, it was time to do the interview, and that was with Owen Hayes of Outdoor GPS. He's a the host there. And we got on the pond, did that full thing. I got a little bit of audio from that, but then eventually it cut off. So here's the beginning of that interview. Nothing really specific, just more or less biggest kayak sale promotion. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, one of the biggest things in the Northwest and around the country is kayak angling, kayak tournaments, just getting out on the water and ways that can be affordable to do so. And there's no question that when you're here at the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show, it's the biggest kayak sale ever and it's especially here at this sportsman show i'm here with brandon Hua from see i got it i got it, it. Uh, from next adventure you're gonna find all of the manufacturers here from their newest and some of the oldest versions but there's some stuff here that i've never seen before oh yeah we got eight of the top leading kayak manufacturers in the country yeah. here at the portland expo center during the show, I had two seminars, one on Wednesday and one on Saturday. And the one on Saturday, I was able to get some footage for that. And obviously it was a long seminar. You can barely hear me, but I did have a little bit of a noopsies on the pod. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw it. Here's a couple clips from that seminar. Those were some of my personal highlights from the show. I really need to start paying attention to my audio and to make sure everything's all good. So I just wanna apologize. I wasn't able to bring you guys along for the journey. But like I said, I'm hoping I can make some of this up with you guys with a little bit of unboxing. You guys might have seen back there, there's a couple real boxes from Shimano. I'm gonna walk you guys through what I got. First off, apologize for the heater noise in the background. Heater just turned on, so there's gonna be a little bit of background noise, but one thing that I usually try to do is every couple years, I try to upgrade new gear, get rid of some of my old ones, usually give people around me a great deal on some rods or reels or whatever, and it allows me to upgrade to like newer stuff, so. These are not necessarily new. I run most of this stuff already, but I wanted to uh, get some new things. So we got a couple reels right here. Top, Metanium HG, 150HG. Got an Exence 3000 and a Tranx 300HG. Quick disclaimer, by no means does anybody need, obviously, super high-end reels to go catch fish. 
definitely don't but it is nice to have you know some of the drag systems that's put on it the way it's easier to cast some of the things it makes it real beneficial i'm able to run some of the best and that's the reason why i use them so just want to get that out there not everybody needs all this high-end gear but to start off we have one of my favorites like i said titanium 150 hg high gear it's a seven to one gear ratio this is really my chuck and wind reel so casting retrieving all the time those type of baits spinner bait chatter bait it's a little swim bait stuff like that you know columbia river Willamette river all that stuff i like it this thing casts so easily it's smooth it's one of my favorite it has a great drag system as well a lot of that is that magnum light spool so the spool that's actually in this reel is cut down in weight and it makes it so that startup inertia is a lot easier to get started so yeah one of my favorites for that magnesium body it's super light i don't remember exactly how much this thing weighs but it's really light i'm gonna say it's seven ounces eight ounces maybe even less but yeah one of my favorites i have one already but i wanted another one just to do a lot more casting so next up we have a spinning reel this is actually a newer version of a reel that i already have i have an accents already i use it on my drop shot rod you know light line big fish under pressure you want to have a great drag system and that's what i get with this so accents handle is still in the package literally brand new let me see if I can put this together real quick. There we go. So Xsense 3000 right there. 3000. As far as freshwater reels go for Shimano, this is their second to the highest. Stella is their flagship. This is right below it. Super light magnesium body. Again, drag system is super clean. Like I don't have problems with it binding up or anything. I like the 3000 size. So for those who don't know, 2500 and 3000, same frame size but you get a bigger spool with a 3000 and it also has a faster gear ratio as well so a little tip for you guys if you didn't know that but yeah this thing i love it had it on my drop shot rod i'm hoping to do a couple new finesse techniques this year and i wanted to upgrade and get another one of these i love my vanfords for the price of vanfords i still use them i have them but i did want to get another one of these just for some of those light line situations one thing i want to try this year is obviously this big thing that's going on mid strolling hover strolling all that stuff so i do want to try that and this is probably the reel i'm going to use for that also you get a nice carrying case when you buy one of these reels as well and then we got another reel and that is a tranks 300 hg and this is a swim bait reel that's what i'm using this for this is a high gear so the six six to one gear ratio i believe no seven six to one i lied fast gear ratio yeah so this is going to be for like the glide baits stuff like that you know you got to work them real quick obviously you get one of those big fish to go you got to grind it real fra fast not frast fast but yeah the seven six to one gear ratio comes with the big old power handle right there big old power handle but i did get a normal handle which i should take out of the package but yeah a normal handle to replace it with so that's one thing you can do with these big power handles nice but i do like your conventional two spoke handles so i will replace it with this one obviously traditional handle right there let's get this thing traditional handle and then obviously you have big old power handle so gonna replace those at some point we're actually going fishing this weekend for sturgeon sturgeon social i talked to you guys about it in the last video we're gonna be going out there with the kayak community chasing sturgeon out of kayaks my first time i think i'm gonna use this reel for that i need to spool it up with braid but yeah shrinks 300 that's gonna be nice hg model i'm excited for this one planning to throw more big swim baits this year i love throwing bigger swim baits you know and i'm talking about stuff bigger than like six inches eight inch huds glide baits some of that stuff so i want to get an extra one i got two big swim baits big swim bait rods and i want to utilize it more so yeah got an extra one for that but those are the three new reels that i got potentially might be getting some more stuff down the road but that should cover kind of like the missing stuff for me right now and like i said before we got a package from afco and this is a bunch of new apparel that i'm going to be using this year for those of you who are new here I am partnered with Apco. They supply me with some of the best apparel that keeps me comfortable on the water. 
because you know what if you're not comfortable on the water you're going to be worrying about yourself rather than fishing so you have some awesome apparel that i love to use keeps me comfortable keeps me cool all that keeps me dry obviously pacific northwest it rains a whole bunch we got some new things in here so let's check it out see what we got all right what we got Ooh, some new flip flops so got some new flip flops Usually, once it gets warmer, I am always wearing my flip flops. Okay. Got some new Afco ones right here. Boom, there we go, right there. If you guys don't know, I love my neutral colors for the most part, besides the kayak being red, neutral colors, so right there. Has some nice traction underneath and super nice padding. I've ran a bunch of cheap flip flops before and my favorite feet, and obviously some of them are not waterproof, so this one I'm excited about. Next up, got a new hoodie. I actually had this hoodie last year, and I loved it so much. Just again, plain colors, but right there. It's kind of like that gray and black camo. Big old hit of AFCO in the back. Wanted an extra one of those, so we got another. Next up, we got some layering, so one of the nice things is that Afco has these layers. This is their F1, right? Yeah, F1 midweight pants. Basically a little insulated that goes under your pants, keeps you warm, keeps you dry, moisture wicking so that when you sweat, you're not wet all the time. Something that I'm definitely gonna use when it's cold out. Next up, we got some pants. These are their Honcho Utility Pants. So khaki color simple can wear it if anything comfortable and it's breathable too so nice to have that very simple right there let's see what else we got we got some more pants are these also on shows i think they are yep so great color right there got a hat this one uh got a little bent in packaging but simple basic afco hat Ooh, got a t-shirt this was a new design so Little hint on the back, Afco with the bass on the back, and then a little chest pocket right there that says Afco. This is a jacket I can wear when traveling, it's just getting cooler, obviously the spring and the fall, all that. This is their puffer jacket, right? Crosswind Puff HD, so wind blocking, water resistant, where it's traveling, you know, if I'm outside, got to rig out the kayak, go grab tackle, whatever it is, I can throw this on, it'll keep me warm for those windy days and when it's wet. I think most people are familiar with Afco for their Reaper apparel. Usually it comes with a buff, but this one actually does not. So this is similar to the Reaper, but it does not have that buff that's into it you know sometimes i just want to wear this casually out and i don't need that buff all the time tell you what that was nice during covid because if i did have to wear a mask boom built in but yeah this is their shadow fleece right there gray simple i love it these things keep me warm nice to wear under a raincoat or something so next we actually have some rain gear and i'm still waiting for the bids but for those who know i love my hydronaut it is their cold weather system that is super nice. Like I fished last year, 28 degree, I think it was 28 degrees, 28 degrees when we blasted off in a bass boat. I fished a tournament, I didn't get a chance to record it, but I didn't wear it much underneath it. I wore a thin hoodie, I wore some sweats, and that's it. I didn't really do any major layering. Yeah, so this is their new one, their Hydronaut. Mine is about four years old, something like that. So it was time to upgrade, did a couple changes to it. So I decided to upgrade. If you want one that's gonna keep you dry and keep you warm, this is the one. It's not super thick, so you can definitely maneuver around whenever you need to and it just not feel like, you know, the mission of man. All right, what else is next? This is Gap HD. I love my sun apparel. This is usually what I wear all the time. You guys see all my fishing videos, I'm always wearing these. So yeah, DAP HD. Again, built-in buff, which is really nice. How many times do you go on the water and you forget your buff? Dude, gotta protect your skin. I'm guilty. I don't always wear my buff all the time, but when it's super hot, I definitely do. Built-in buff, got the hoodie. I always wear this in the summertime when it's hot. Allows all that moisture and sweat to soak through and keep you cool all the time. So right there, that is a new one. I have a whole bunch, but just wanted to pick up another one for this year. We have ankle deck boots. So these are new boots from Afco that got released at ICAST last year. And I'm excited to get these in 
and boom, right there, the deck boots. I'm excited for this. You know, sometimes I don't want to wear like super tall boots. I personally don't really go in the water too often. Most of the places I fish have docks and I literally tie the kayak off, go from the dock into the kayak. And it's just nice for those rainy days. I do have a waterproof boot that can keep me and my feet dry. One of the cool things about this is that it actually has a really nice insole in it to keep your feet comfortable standing all day. And yeah, I mean, obviously there's a bunch of boots out there. I've tried some of the other ones and their insoles are not that good. So I'm excited for this. This is gonna be nice. I might even wear this to go sturgeon fishing just because. But yeah, those are some of the new things that I will be using this year. and. Now it's time to get ready to go sturgeon fishing. We got our sturgeon rods right here. Got a couple of them. This is actually from, wow, I want to say 15 years ago, maybe even more. My dad and I used to go fishing all the time for sturgeon. Old Pen 320 GT. I mean, these things, I don't even think they sell them anymore, but these were the thing back in the day. Big old ugly sticks, gonna go well on some giant sturgeon. It's gonna be so fun. I haven't caught a sturgeon in two years. Yeah, I wanna say two years. I grew up doing it with my pops, you know, going out, it just brings a lot of memories. Um, definitely one of these things where I do wanna get them back out to do it again. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. Gonna hang out with the community. Hopefully some of you guys are gonna be there and that'll make for a fun video. But yeah, y'all, that's gonna be a wrap for this one. Again, I apologize for not really having a full Sportsman Show video, but hopefully we made it up with some of these unboxings. If you're new here, consider subscribing. The next video is gonna be a fun one. Going out and catching freaking dinosaurs. I'm so excited. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.